everyone, Kate here. If you are new, welcome. Great to have you here. Today I am participating in the When You Were In Blank Grade teacher tag. It was started by the Spanglish Maestra. I, I'm like, I'm gonna preface this by saying I'm uber gringa. So, um, Valeria I, is how I imagine that you say her name. Anyway, I, um, when she asked, I was like, okay, that was 33 years ago, so I don't know how much I remember. So I'm gonna do my best, but again, you know, hi, 33 years ago. That's probably older than most of you are, <laughs> than most of you currently are, right? Like, I figure a lot of you are probably not even 33 yet, so yeah. Okay, so there are seven questions in this tag video, and I'm gonna do my best, like I said. Let's get into them. Question one is, Describe your third grade classroom. What do you remember? Okay, so I remember moving from Virginia to California and I remember being all upset because we went from traditional school to a year round and so I had like I think an eight day summer or like a four day summer or something like that and I was bitter the house you guys. I was so upset. And that was kind of like how I went into third grade. I was like all irritated, but I did have a two, three combo. And I just remember that the classroom, like the number of kids in there, it didn't feel like it was a crazy amount of kids, probably comparable to what I have now, which is 27 students. But honestly, I just remember the classroom being really, running really smoothly. And it maybe, maybe that's just how I want to remember it. But I do remember things being really smoothly. I remember that there was a lot of separation in like what we were doing curriculum wise. So there'd be certain things that like second grade was doing. And then if you had high, high second graders, they could kind of do the curriculum of third graders and your low third graders could do kind of the curriculum of second graders. And I think that that is, can be beneficial, right? Like that can be great. But I also remember too, there was a lot of like bridging. So if there were things that both the second grade and third graders could do, then then we would do it all together. I kind of remember there being a lot of uh, parent help. If I'm like, maybe I'm just envisioning this, but I feel like there was parent support in there too. I know my mom was super active in our elementary and would always volunteer to help out and stuff like that. So. Um, if you're watching, is that true or did I just make that up? No, I feel like that's true. Okay, question two, describe your third grade teacher. Okay, so my third grade teacher was Miss Luster, who my, should we call her like my faux sister? She had her for sixth grade and um, then, so she, okay, sidetracking from the question here. This is kind of a funny story. So I had her in third grade and then my little faux sister had her in sixth grade. She totally remembered who I was. And then it probably was about, it was probably, a, uh, you know, maybe 12 years later, somewhere in that time frame. I ended up subbing at a school that she had been transferred to and I, I saw her and I knew who she was immediately. She had this great like curly, curly hair and she was super short and just a really lovely woman. Miss Lester, if you're watching this, you probably don't remember me because you sure didn't then, but I get it now, right? So anyway, I saw her in the lunchroom and I was like, oh my God, Miss Lester, you were my third grade teacher. And she was like, who are you? <laughs> I, so I told her my name and it took a minute and it, it started to come back to her and I don't know if it brought back good memories or bad memories, but she started to remember who I was. And it's funny because I just randomly had two students stop by my classroom, two former students or siblings, and they were like, hi. And they're like, you don't remember us, do you? And I was like, it's just taking me a minute. You're looking familiar, help me out. And then they told me who they were the Volraths, I love them. Jonathan and, and Hannah Volrath, love them. Great kids. Anyway, and they were like, I totally get it. You have, you know, 50 something kids every year. It's really hard to remember. Um, but it was really great to see them. So hopefully Miss Lester felt that way about me, but who knows? <laughs> okay, so um, the other thing I would say about her is that she must have been organized 
because doing a combo class you've got to have like your organization on point or you're gonna lose your brain and she had to have been like pretty good at classroom management because nothing ever stuck out to me as there being like an issue with with uh, like behavior problems or anything like that not anything that like stood out so she must have been pretty good at classroom management okay so something you were number three sorry number three something you remember learning that year in all honesty that was so long ago i already have my multiplication facts down thank you dad um yeah he made me learn those and i was like a decent writer and i didn't really have too many issues with reading so none of those things really stood out too much however i remember that we did some play and i got to being king arthur and i don't remember too much more than that but i got to wear red tights and i had a scepter and like a cloak and a crown it was amazing <laughs> i mean who doesn't want to be king right if you can't be queen you could be king and i'm down with anything like that so i just remember doing that play and it was a lot of fun and i think generally that's the stuff like kids are not going to really remember especially 33 years later they're not gonna remember stuff like oh we learned this writing piece like no they're gonna remember the extra little like fun stuff so my kids probably will always remember that like I'm a field day assassin I win field day almost every year right and that's probably something that they're gonna remember about me they're probably gonna remember that I'm like competitive and that I like to joke around but are they gonna remember my lesson on informative writing probably not right so that was something that I, I remember vaguely. I don't remember what the play was, but I know King Arthur was in it. So I think it had something to do with like the, the Knights of the Round Table. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So question four, I kind of just answered something memorable for that from that year. So I would say the play. Question five is, do you remember who your friends were? Well, okay. So that's actually interesting that that question should come up because uh, I have like one of the worst memories. I don't know why like after I turned about 20 my memory is pretty like spot on but prior to about 20 <laughs> uh, My memory is not that great. I, I don't know if anybody else like I always hear people tell stories about like oh when I was a kid We did this and that. like I don't my memories are like kind of shady up in there, right? Like I don't really remember everything but I do remember uh, a couple of my friends, uh, well, okay, so I do remember, I should say, one friend in particular, and her name was Lisa Lumsden, and I believe we met in third grade, I'm just gonna go with it, and she was um, this really great girl that we just like got on with, and um, I remember like she was a really fast reader, and I wasn't, so I would like pretend to like that I could read faster than her and then she like totally called me out on it this one time she was like oh so what happened in the book and I was like uh <laughs> I don't know why I I'm like was even competitive about that <laughs> it's just if you know me you probably think that's really funny because I'm super competitive but like why was I trying to pretend that I had read a whole book faster than her like who knows the other really cool thing that Lisa did was um her family would go down to like Baja. And so my parents let me go for a weekend down to Baja with them. And her brother went surfing and I'm kicking myself because I should have learned to surf like that weekend when like, you know, it's easier. Um, I go surfing now, but I'm terrible at it. So I mean, who cares? I have fun, but I really wish like I would have picked it up when I was younger because I think that I'd probably go to the beach more often if I did. Anyway, so Lisa was really cool. And then like through social media, a lot of people re-pop back up. There are people just like not even from third grade, but from elementary school in general that like I see. One of them, um, he I don't know if he was in my third grade class or not, but he was definitely in, in either my third, fourth or third, fourth, fifth or sixth grade class or possibly multiple ones. And his name was uh, Devin and I see him online all the time. He's a teacher down in Indonesia now. So I like love watching his Instagram because I went to Indonesia and so I just, I love seeing his travels. Um, and yeah, like through Facebook and all these things, people pop back up and it's crazy to see where people are in their lives and what they've chosen to do. Um, yeah, so Lisa Lumsden was probably the one friend that I can uh, remember right now. Okay, number six. 
As an educator now, do you do anything similar uh, to your third grade teacher? Um, I'm sure I probably do some things that she did. Honestly, I really can't remember um, exactly what she did, but I, I do remember her being very like patient and just kind of um, not ever losing her temper, and that's kind of how I am as well. I don't really lose my temper. Yeah, I will sometimes like have to put my thumb down on a situation and like really like, uh, I wanna say kind of like, show my authority, but it's very rare that I have to do that. I'm, I'm pretty even keel for the most part. I lay things out for my kids exactly. Like I don't let things slide. If I don't like it for one kid, I'm probably not gonna like it for other kids. Um, and I do kind of remember her being very like even keel and just kind of calm. So I think that that's probably would be the closest thing that I, that I do that she might have done. <laughs> okay. And then number seven is anything else about this grade you want to share? I have been teaching in third grade. I'm going into my 11th year third grade. I'm, I'm totally an upper grade teacher. I love teaching, you know, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. I feel like in third grade, they're really just, they're still kind of, they still just like idolize you and they love you. And, um, they're really great in third grade, but they need a lot of um, help still. I mean, just with like basic things. Like this year, my kids would ask me questions like, I need to staple, the, are they, should I staple these two papers together? And I, I would just look at them like, I don't know, should you? And then they'd be like, well, I don't want them to get lost. And I was like, well, what are you gonna do about that? Oh, I should staple it. So they just, there's a lot of these like things that seem obvious to us that they're not sure about or they don't want to make a mistake, they want to do it right. So they ask a lot of these questions and you have to teach them to kind of think for themselves. And you have to be, just be very like straightforward. And then also too, you know, parents sometimes are a little bit more involved in the younger grades. So you get a lot of parents needing that support as well. Now, I love teaching third grade, but I have been doing it for 11 years. I'm kind of like starting to get ready for a little bit of a change. Um, my ideal grade, uh, my mom and I went back and forth on this. She's like, oh, I was like fourth grade, 100%, love fourth grade, that's my jam. And my mom was like, oh no, she, now my mom taught third grade and she was like, no, you're gonna love third. And she's right, I loved third, I loved third grade. However, I am so ready to get back into fourth grade. I just love it. I love fourth grade. Um, and yeah, the team, the fourth grade team at my school is fantastic. The third grade team is fantastic. Like I'm happy wherever I end up, but fourth grade is totally my jam. Fifth grade's okay too, but they kind of get a little crazy towards the end because they know they're moving on to middle school, at least at my school, that's how it is. So I would say fourth grade is my ideal. Third grade really is you have kids come in and they just, they still love you. They're still very sweet. They don't, you know, really, they, they're they sponges. They want to learn. So that would be something I would say about third grade. And um, oh my gosh, that's it. That was a quick tag. Although I'm already at 14 minutes. I just looked. <laughs> So anyway, you guys, if you liked this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Um, help me grow this channel. If you can share it with other people, uh, all those things help my channel out and I would be forever grateful. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to become part of the Sleepy Fam. There's a little bell down there. It's all free. And then I just wanted to say also, if you do not know about the E2E conference coming up in July 15th or 16th, my little link will be down below. And I'm such a small channel that that's why I'm like promoting it. It is free. It doesn't cost anything um, on the days of the conference. It's a two day conference, completely free to sign up. You should check it out. There are amazing educators. I know I'm in it, Smarty Style's in it. Uh, I've heard Olivia Bertles, who's like big on Instagram is in it. Too Cool for Middle School, who's also in this collab. Uh, Hello Third Grade, Jess is in it. Um, there's just so many people, the whimsical teacher, who's also on YouTube, by the way, and just a lot of really, really wonderful educators and that are gonna be presenting amazing, amazing things. I'm doing a presentation on ELD. If you like what you see there, 
and you need somebody to present, uh, contact me at The Sleepy Teacher. Anyway, enough with the self promos. I hope you're still here. If you are, thank you so much. You know what to do, drop a, let's do a four this time. Drop a four, let me know you made it to the end. And um, as always, thank you so much for being here and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.